example because I'm always looking for examples in my own life and life is acting, that's all it is, life is acting. So Icky asked me a really interesting question this weekend about the spine of the character. And, and, one, and Ilsa, who was in the workshop and then went back to Belgium, she sent me a funny uh, a DM where she screenshotted a, a photo of a book, The Fucking Job, of the book, where I did talk about it. So obviously I know something about it, but, but, but I was kind of making fun of it, that as an exoskeleton sort of imagery, it's interesting, but I still don't know, beyond knowing maybe what a spine of a character is, I can't play it. So here I had an example of it in my own life. I thought this is so specific to what we're talking about, about getting stuck on trying to play things. Don't try to play concepts. Use concepts, words, labels, definitions, understandings of actings to transcend them, to open up your imagination, to use them to get you motivated, to go for shit, to have bold choices, to be fearless. That's what they're in place for, just like anything in life, really. So I was walking here, and I was running late because I had to be here at 3.30. And I thought I had enough time and then I had, to get a, I had to get a coffee. So I went into the Starbucks and I was like, fuck. And I don't like to be late, I'm very German and really punctual. So like, anyway, I, thought, I was like, okay, I have time. And then as I was leaving, and the point of this, wait, sorry, is a important point. If I'm thinking about my life as the spine of the character of Tony, meaning the spine of the character is as the, sort of the motivating force of my life. That's kind of what it's defined as. This is one acting term of many. I would say like, I try to live my life in service. I try to live my life in helping others. That's how I try to be and that's certainly how I am in the work and the stories that I'm wanting to tell. So it sounds really high and lofty, doesn't it? So sure enough, so that's how I'm trying to live my life as this character of Tony. Sure enough, some guy, as I was like my, my, I was gonna call a Walkman, my phone, <laughs> some people don't even know what a Walkman is, that's how old I am. Anyway, my phone, I was listening to the music, the cord unraveled, it was a mess, I got my coconut milk latte, and he came up to me and he's like, he was in the store, and he just came out of nowhere, and he was like, uh, uh, can I have a hot drink? And I just, I didn't even really understand what he said, and I was like, what? And then he said, can I have a hot drink? And I just, I didn't put two and two together that he was homeless and he'd just come in and he'd ask. And me and all my lofty characterness of being in service, I was like, no. <laughs> and then I left. So the point is, is A, look at how highfalutin we think we are and we're just human. And then of course, then I shamed myself for it and then I was gonna turn around and go back. And then I was like, fuck, always lessons all the time where we always have the opportunity to help. We always have the opportunity to help people. And my excuses, I was running late and I was frazzled. They're all just excuses. We find ways to not really be in service. So that's the highest lesson there. But then as an acting lesson, so here is this character who's supposed to be so in, in service or righteous or whatever. And then I went, ah. So my vertebrae's out of whack. But that still is a part of the character. It's a part of you. So you are multifaceted. So we do not use labels as we approach the work, especially when we're just working. There's a famous writer, I don't remember his name right now because I have it at home and I just thought of it today. He said, don't decide anything until the very last minute. So your job as creators is to just keep playing, keep trying, keep playing, keep trying, keep playing, keep trying, keep playing, keep trying, keep playing until the last nanosecond when the director is like, okay, we ready? Action. Because what happens is you, you cut off the creative impulse, the creative matrix that you're connected to, to keep gathering more information of what you can try and be and do. And then you make choices based on all of that gathering information. Make sense? Try not to limit yourself with labels and terms, kids. 